Oh, hi. Jason Harris, Managing Director and Auctioneer for Scammel Auctions for another edition of What's at Scammels. Let's have a look around. Okay, and a great place to start. This leather chair is absolutely fantastic. Reproduction, but uh, beautifully pressed leather. A really nice hall chair, this one. So let's go over this side. This is old world charm or the like. Uh, lovely setting. Um, these are really, really nice pieces. Uh, six person setting in oak for a smaller dining room or even a kitchen table. Lovely matching sideboard as well, four doors. Um, great piece. This is actually very, very nice. Look over here, this is a monk's bench. Uh, beautifully carved through here with griffins and a central rosette, but what happens here is you move it through, it becomes a table as well. Very popular, this one's around about 1920s, the original ones are 15th or 16th century. 1920s, it's a reproduction of it, but beautifully carved um, as well. So called monks benches, we well, don't get many of them in anymore. Uh, this is quite a special one. Over here we go, and we go uh, into the teak. Actually lots of teak this week. So teak dressing tables and the uh, sewing tidies, lovely little coffee table as well. Uh, more of the retro and teak, including a fabulous uh, lolly jar as well. Uh, that's quite nice. The uh, Noguchi table. Uh, again, this is a clear glass top, uh, but again, very, very nice piece. Uh, very uh, suit to any retro or uh, mid-century modern setting. Sideboards, lots of sideboards this week. Uh, over these side, these chairs are really nice as well. We'll just have a quick look at these, even though they do need to be re-upholstered. Uh, they are a lovely shape uh, in this sort of Clement Meadmore style, but I love the back and the, uh, the comfy back and shape on these. Upholstered, these won't be that expensive. Upholstered, these look an absolute cracker. Lots of teak in, as I said this week. Over this side, uh, the teak stools, lovely uh, set of four stools. Again, these are uh, upping in price every single week. Uh, these started off years ago, we'd get $5 a set. Now we're looking at $100 to $200 for a set. The TH Brown ones have gone from about $80 to around about $400 each. Uh, so uh, these are the second tier ones, but again, very good. Over here, Afghan Hound, uh, we've called him Terence. Beats having a garden gnome. Um, he's lovely, doesn't take a lot of feeding or care. He uh, pretty well looks after himself. As I said, more teak these, this week. These are also nice as well. These are Rosewood, uh, Danish office chairs. Uh, lovely, N nothing else needs to be done with these. Uh, these are very, very nice pieces, uh, beautiful lines on these. Probably for the pair, around about $300 the pair, but very, very good. More sideboards, uh, both two different styles, of more of the buffet style, multi-head lamp, uh, always good sellers. A more traditional style, um, not as popular, uh, but still uh, quite a nice piece of teak. Uh, this one has a central bar area, lovely little uh, floral motif mirror in the back. Over it's for the more traditional antiques. This is really nice as well. Nice big yacht, fiberglass, um, probably a proper pond yacht uh, given the size of the keel. Uh, again, uh, for the, uh, the man cave or the collectors, uh, very nice piece. This one, as I said, it is a fiberglass one, steerable rudder, a good piece. Uh, roll top desk coming back into popularity finally. Uh, these were popular years ago, 20 years ago, around about $1,500 each, down to around about $200 if we could sell them. Now they're getting up to four or $500. And this is in lovely, lovely condition as well. If you think about the amount of times it gets opened and closed, uh, the, the roll top on this is in absolute mint condition. So a very, very nice one. Into the polished, this one's quite nice, toilet mirrors haven't been popular for a long time. But Burr Walnut, lovely style, Victorian, uh, around about 1880s, 1870s. I love the oval mirror in this, little uh, two uh, dressing drawers on these. Over this way, we've got a couple of really nice pieces in this week. This one's a little bit of a sleeper. Uh, looks mahogany or cedar from the, uh, from the outset. But if you look on the side here, a little bit of stripped away, it's Huon Pine. And it's a, uh, a really nice shape, lovely piece. The fact that it's Huon Pine, uh, it makes it just that much better. So strip off this horrible uh, finish and you have a lovely, lovely piece of Huon Pine. Um, you can't actually really see it that well, but this will come up a really nice gold colour. Be careful stripping this. Uh, go very, very gently, um, but a lovely, lovely piece. Card table. Burl Walnut, unfortunately, has had the central 
uh, motif uh, replaced. These uh, do uh, tend to uh, warp and, and um, shred away after a little bit of time. So unfortunately that has been replaced. But lovely figuring through here. This would have been an absolute cracker in its, uh, original, uh, its original condition. Open it up and uh, what we call a card or a bridge table. That's what separates a bridge table or a card table from a tea table is the felt. Uh, so really nice piece. The felt's in fabulous condition. I say bring back uh, playing bridge. Uh, lead light lamps, these are Tiffany or Tafani style, uh, in from China, brand new, but really, really nice, and these are around $300, so cheap lighting. Over this way we go, lots of tools in this week. We have had a tool bonanza, uh, old surfboards, enamel lights, there's uh, old uh, Sid Chromes, you can a hand Amanda Grander spanner, well you certainly can this week. Uh, complete sets, lots of chain, lots of turnbuckles and all sorts, I'm not quite sure why people collect them, but they do. Lots of old tools. Uh, including the old uh, methylated spirits boxes. Great planter boxes, these. Uh, a lot of people collect these now, uh, as they have done in the past with the uh, petrol and motor oil boxes. Uh, any sort of old stenciled timber uh, doing really well. This is interesting. Uh, early cane basket, I thought it was a reproduction, but actually original one. Um, dated 1889. Fabulous old piece, really nice. So we don't know if it's a, a snake basket, so if you've got a flute, and put a python in there and got yourself a uh, Rundle Mall exhibition, probably for about eight minutes before they get rid of you. But over this side, more tools, lots and lots of tools this week. Uh, some good uh, crazy old axes, including lovely little uh, you know, tomahawk and machete. Lovely tools. Uh, they will sell really well this week. So if you're into tools, old carpentry, uh, bring back the, uh, the early days, I say, of, uh, of handy works. Uh, nice uh, French cheese board. Um, or French, um, uh, French pastry board. Isn't that right, Pierre? Yes. So over this side, and we'll wrap this up very quickly. Uh, the rest of the, uh, the works here, we've got a little bit of vinyl, a little, uh, little bit of kitchen work. So that's it from the, uh, actually one more thing, which is an absolute, uh, absolute perler, a unicycle. I say, yeah, bring back the clown arts unicycle. Let's go with Adrian and see what's in the smalls. Okay, welcome to What's at Scammels in the gallery this week, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a, a large range of China glassware collectibles. Uh, should be a cracking sale this week. A huge range of all sorts of everything. So we'll just go through a few of the cabinets and a few of the items that we do have this week. Uh, we'll start with this cabinet here, Toby. Uh, so we've got a large range of oriental porcelains. Yes, some of it is damaged, but this sort of thing. Uh, some lovely quality uh, China wares in there. Uh, good oriental china seems to sell quite well at the moment, which is great. Uh, so great decor. Here we go over this side here. We've got some more oriental bits and pieces. I'm going to have a horn of some description. Look, with the, the things we find at Scammels, you'd be very surprised, actually. Uh, Art Deco. We love the Deco. Uh, the Deco glasswares usually sell quite well. It's a lovely Deco float bowl in the amber glass as well. So uh, a figural float bowl. Don't pop up too often. Let's head this way. Okay, here we go. Now we've got all sorts of things in here, ranging from the, uh, the 50s uh, Black Lady figures. Eight. They're a good seller, uh, very contemporary, through to the Wembley wear. This one here is quite unusual. That's a Wembley gnome. Uh, quite an unusual dish. We haven't actually seen this one before through here. Uh, so it should do quite well at auction, I would think. Uh, so a mixture of all sorts through here. Uh, big Wembley fish, another one that's the second one we've had in the past few weeks. Uh, over to this side here, clocks. Look, we can't get enough clocks. Always got clocks every week without fail. Into this cabinet, Toby, look at the size of these vases. They are huge. Now, I'm a, I'm a big guy, look at the size of my hand to that vase. That's a big vase, so you're buying a matching pair of those. Uh, what else do we have in here, Toby? We've got mirrors, uh, bark paintings, tiles. Oh, $6 million man, these are great. Here we go, look at this. Got the record of the $6 million man and a board game as well. So some interesting bits and pieces. Okay, let's head along this way. Lots of sundry bits and bobs, telephones. Hello, nobody there. Not working at the moment, but nevertheless, all sorts of goodies. This one here was good. Uh, we emptied this one on uh, Tuesday night, so that was a, that was a great night. I uh, know we sell all sorts of bar and whiskey advertising bits and pieces uh, here at Scammels. We've got the drum, make your money back in minutes at Rundle Mall. All sorts of goodies. Let's go to the collectibles cabinet. Okay. Candlestick telephones, there we go, there's a lovely brass one, all polished up, ready to go. Uh, wood planes, uh, some good collectible wood, pl wood planes there. That's quite unusual, lovely decoration, there we go. Move that out the road. What a beauty, all brass. A little record as well, record rabbit plane. Uh, move along this way. Okay, one thing that does sell quite well at auction is always these video games. The uh, Sega, Nintendo, anything along this sort of line does sell quite well. 
Uh, all right, what else have we got here? Now, if you own a Model T Ford, don't mind me sliding the uh, doors open. Uh, that's quite a beauty. That's a Model T Ford uh, little oiler and it is embossed. These are quite hard to find uh, and looks to be in good order as well. So fill it up with oil, put it with the Model T, you'll be uh, cooking with gas. Okay, let's head along this way. Sign football. What's that say? Port Adelaide Football Club. Oh, there you go. The best team in the, in the state. That's it. Port Adelaide Footy Club. That's ready to rock. Uh, so if you're into footballs, that's a signed one there as well. Okay, over this way, Toby. Talking about video games and toys. We've got the old Nintendo. Always a good seller at auction. Super Nintendo down here. So we've got a couple of different sort of uh, periods of items. These are what I grew up with. And we've got the Ninja Turtles. So heaps of Ninja Turtles, little figures in there. Uh, these are actually getting quite sought after. Uh, and they're, you know, a couple of boxes full of uh, the Ninja Turtle bits and pieces. So, look, a large range of uh, bits and pieces this week. Got some crazy staff here walking past with some bells happening at the moment. So, look, feel free to check us out. Uh, catalog will be online uh, as of Friday nights so around about 7 o'clock. We put the, uh, put the catalog up, www.scamlauctions.com.au.